Of course. There is nothing we can do. What can we do? <laughs> we have no say as far as this is concerned. And that is strange. Very, very strange. Yes. Considering the fact that this concerns us directly. <sighs> this has been the tradition. Never in history has it been heard that women change the tradition of their people. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are all expected to grow old here. In our father's houses, just like that. And we are comfortable with it. Women have been married before and... And that was like how many years ago? I have one option left. And that is to move in with Lutana. Bright price or not. Because I will not allow any silly tradition make me grow old here. Really? Is that even possible? Can you do a thing like that? Yes. I am serious. I will do what I just said here. And why are you all asking me stupid questions as if you hold me as a weakling? If you are ready to die in your father's heart, I am not. Adobe, I am very sure you know the consequences of that. So I will assume this is just a bad joke. I know the consequences of a woman running after her man without allowing the elders feed fat on her suitor in the name of marriage requirements. She will not be admitted into the Umada group. And when she dies, her people will neither mourn her nor discuss anything about her. Is that not all? Or has anything else been added to that? Our mothers were married properly. Hmm. And so we shall all be married properly. Yes. I called us here to hear our minds and having done that, I know exactly what to do. However, as older maidens, let us not forget to counsel the younger ones appropriately. It's been there before we were born. So does that make it right? Women have been getting married over the years. Are you telling me you're equally blind to what is happening in Anenugu as far as marriage is concerned? Oh, fine. We don't get to celebrate marriages as often as other kingdoms. Our young men go to other kingdoms to take wives. While our maidens remain here growing old. Are you saying you don't know anything about this? When our times come, they will be married. You say they, but I say we. I am one of those maidens. Or oh, haven't you noticed I'm past the marriageable age? Oh, you want to check me out, right? Oh, fine, fine. Oh, by the way, where are you taking this to? Because I, I can see it. I want to take this to father. Excuse me? Yes. I may not have the right nor the power to change anything, but at least I can make a move. You mean to tell me you want to make father change marriage rules as handed over by our ancestors? Oh please, just spare me that ancestors angle for we know that all they continue to do is to modernize the marriage rights. To modernize the marriage requirements. I will take this to father. I want him to see that the maidens of this kingdom are hurting. I don't know what this will achieve, but at least I will try. And don't. Don't try to make me change my mind because I will not listen to you. Why does it seem to me that my only sister, the princess of this kingdom, is going, going crazy? Say whatever you want to say. Call it whatever. I am not bothered. I'm only telling you this because I know father listens to you. Whatever I take to him, he will bring to you. I need your support on this. I remember you told me 
that a man from Monsukwabatete will be coming to ask for your first daughter's hand in marriage. Yes, let us not talk about that. But that is why I called you. It's almost two weeks now. Two weeks has already gone. And I've not heard anything about it. Yes. Because there is nothing to hear about it. Nothing to tell, Onyeze. The young man came, just like others that came before him. He came and went and never returned. He never returned? Why? Oh, Onyeze, you should know why. You should know why. The marriage list of our land is too much for him. Oh, that? That. The last time my daughter visited in Sokwaba Tete, the young man's hut, she was told that the very young man in question was already making arrangements to get married to another maiden in their own land. So how is your daughter doing now? Yes, I cannot tell. I, I cannot tell. She chose to keep to herself. Practically, she's avoiding me. I thought you were joking about what you said earlier, Dobby. I'm seriously thinking about it. So you will just run off to live with a man who has not paid your bride price? And what if the bride price is what he cannot pay? Then I'm allowed to die an old woman in my father's house? So you're willing to risk everything? Umada can go to hell! If they are interested to get more members, they should have made an effort to see that more maidens get married! Um, well, at least she's better. She has someone to run to. What about me? No, what about me? My own man has gone to another maiden to propose to her. Oh. Okay. Since this is turning into a competition, hear mine. I am yet to see a man that will get as close as asking me to marry him. I am here to see a man that would get as close as hearing the elders read the list and then taking off. So whose case is the worst now? Yeah. Tell me! I think they are all the same really. They are. What? You see, um, Miss Oma, I think Ada's solution is the best. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying into her solution. If we get a man who is interested in us, we run off with him. No, I disagree with you. I'm still not buying into that. Listen. The prince has promised to do something. Do what exactly? There is nothing she or anyone else can do. Nothing. She's equally blind to what is happening to all of us. She cannot be blind to it. She cannot. She's going past marriage age too. Well. I suppose we all have our lives to live, and we are responsible for our own actions. But I've made my choice. And don't be! I can see that this is going to end badly. I can see it. My father, the last thing I would want to do is upset you. But I'm afraid what I have to tell you might do just that. My daughter, you've never sounded like this. I hope all is well. Are you okay? Maybe I am too, I am too busy to notice that my daughter has not been well. Even if it will upset you, it does not matter. 
can bear it. I know you barely see them. And even if you do, you do not take note of what is happening to them. Them? Who are they? The maidens of Aninu. My father, I am one of them and I am going to use myself as an example because you see me every day. What is really a trouble, my daughter? Tell me. Father, look at me. Am I still that young girl you used to carry on your shoulders? No. I am older now. I'm a grown woman. Which is very good, isn't it? Yes, it is. But women my age have at least two children for their husbands. They don't wake up in their father's houses. You don't need to tell me, daughter. That you're getting yourself worked up because no suitor comes your way yet. Father, the maidens of Aninubu, the beautiful maidens of Aninubu, are all growing old. Haven't you noticed that since Uwefu Baku gave out his daughter's hand in marriage six years ago, that no other woman has been married out of this kingdom? Every man that comes takes to his heels because of the list of the marriage rights. It is too expensive, my father. You're talking about the disappointment of a wife's daughter in I marriage. It is about the disappointment of every maiden of this land of which I am part of. My father, men and women are dying every day without carrying their own grandchild. My prayer, Father, my prayer is that you carry your own grandchild. I want to get married and I want to get married to a man who would come and feel free without being scared from the list of the requirements. Please, my Father. Adobe, don't you dare walk out on me. I am still the princess of this kingdom and I deserve some respect. What has come over you? Do you know how long I waited before I got him to ask me to marry him? And now everyone is comfortable with me losing him? I know everything. And I also know how disastrous this can get. What is disastrous for any maiden is to grow old in her father's house. Not because she isn't good enough to be called a wife, but because her own people have made it impossible for any man to call her his wife. I spoke to my father. <laughs> uh, let's not fool ourselves, princess. Your father is no doubt a good man. But I do not see him changing anything. And that is why I try to make him understand how we feel exactly. My princess, I still cannot see your father change anything. See? And you think that moving in with a man who is here to pay your bride price will change anything? I mean no disrespect my princess but it's my life and I alone will decide if it can change anything or not Adobe do not set a bad record for the younger ones my prince I've never denied the fact that it has crossed my mind more than once before she came to me. Mm. I thought about that too. 
can see the pains in her eyes. Father, honestly, I never talked about this because I knew nothing can be done about it. Maybe something can be done about it. Everything is possible in the world we live in. Really? Really? Are you saying that the rules of marriage as passed on by our ancestors can be changed? We see to that. This is unbelievable. If something can be done about it, then why has it lingered for such a long time? Father did not give me the impression that he was even going to think about it. Tell me, what did you do to make him open up to you? Well, he didn't open up to me the real sense of the word. But I think something can be done about it. Really? Mm -hmm. are, you, are you certain or you're, you're pulling my legs? I am telling you how I feel about it. By the way, who gave you the slightest hope that father can change anything about the rules of marriage? I don't know. I just followed my instincts. <sighs> I think something can be done anyway. You think so? Please, can you break it down for me, Obidiki, please? Tell me, what exactly did he say? Did he say he can make the cost of the marriage requirements less expensive? Did he say he will make it... It's okay. It... okay. It's okay. Tell me. Calm down. You see, we mustn't talk about this. Because it is wrong for us to raise false hope amongst our people. Yes, Father says something can be done, but it's not certain yet. This alone has given me hope. Remember, you mustn't tell this to anyone. I'm trying. <laughs> hmm. Something can be done. Like the rules can be changed? I think so. How is that even possible? I don't know. But something gives me hope. Hmm. This is tricky, princess. All these years, nobody has said anything about the possibility of such a change. And suddenly you went to the king and he said it can be changed. He didn't say that. He told my brother. But we must not say a word yet. Not even a word. Not even Adobe. Nessu, I am telling you this because I believe you can be trusted. The others already know that you made a move. Besides, this news might stop Adobe from carrying out a silly plan. Plan. Nessu, ma. My princess. We can wait for the real news. Surely. Guess what? I... Guess, guess. I, I can't guess anything. You know I hate guessing. I know. But well, please guess, guess. Even if this is going to be the last time you'll make a guess. <laughs> uh, um, see, my head cannot come up with anything. I was planning on a trip before you called, so just see what you have to say. You are going to meet with Lotana, right? Is that a problem? I am surprised he's even buying into your silly idea. He's even a man. Eh? Thanks for the insult. But I am not going to lose that woman to another meeting. I will be there, there, there. Come. Oh, see, you don't have to walk down that lane of shame. The king might be able to make things better for us. What do you mean? Remember that the princess went to him, asking that something be done about the rules of marriage.
I, I remember that. But the king, according to what she told us, did not make any move. He didn't do anything. Well, the king said that something can be done about it. And whatever it is that can be done about it will bring a positive change. Um, 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 I do not see the king changing anything. What did you call him? The king. That name alone comes with lots of authorities, don't you think? Hmm? Are you going out? Obviously I am. Please, I want to talk to you. Adobe, I equally want to talk to you. But I have not had the time to come over. But let me quickly remind you that those visits you made to Abagana would not yield you any fruit. Yes, it would. That is going to bring you shame. Yes. Does the king have the right to change anything concerning marriage requirements? It's up front. Is it possible he reduced marriage requirements? <gasps> Adobe, let me warn you. It is bad enough that you brought in a poor man to come and ask for a hand in marriage. But let me advise you. Don't allow his withdrawal to drive you crazy. Don't allow his withdrawal to drive you crazy. Nonsense. Isha Zbike, how can you ask that kind of question? Why should you ask that kind of question? I know I should not be asking such questions. But the point is that I'm confused. Confused about what? You don't need anybody to tell you before you know. You should know all these things yourself. My brother's daughter sounded very convincing about this. Besides, you are one of the council members. And you should know about these things first. So let me tell you now, I don't know anything about it. Now let me break it down. The king cannot change anything. Mm -hmm. No, he cannot. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, he is planning to increase the list, mm -hmm. which is always a welcome development. Nobody should think anything about removing anything from that list. That is not possible. <laughs> You know how this is for. Ah, Madike, I know that it is a very great decision that will effect a positive change. But I still need to know if what I am doing is the right thing. Hmm. The gods of Anainugu are merciful. They are kind. They want us to prosper and be happy. They are not ignorant of the pains our daughters suffer. But then, they can't change anything about it. But what do you mean they can't change anything about it? They are not responsible for the decision we make about certain things. It is up to us. As the king of an Enugu kingdom, I have always consulted the seers of our land before taking any crucial decision. And that is why I am here. Please break it down for me. Ancestors that made the rules concerning marriage made them 
as they suited them at the time they were made. Generations after generations have been modifying these rules. So why now asking questions about it? Yeah, uh, asking questions has always been my pattern. Yes. I appreciate your administration. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me leave you with this. The gods of Anenugu approve anything that will bring joy to the people. Elders of our land, you know, I cannot do anything or take any crucial decision in this kingdom without seeing, seeking your advice and being in agreement with you, especially on crucial matters pertaining to this kingdom. And that is why I have called for this meeting. Uh, sincerely, Your Majesty, with all due respect, I will say that you have not managed to say anything. Or maybe I should say I have not managed to understand anything. So if there is any of you here who has managed to understand what the king is saying, could the person be lenient enough to explain clearly? Well, Anybody? I let me explain it better for you. Better understanding. Better. I want us actually to reconsider the marriage requirements of this kingdom. Do you understand me now? Um, Biko Onyeze, forgive my, uh, me for being inquisitive. When you said reconsider, please, what do you mean? Our daughters are fast growing old and unmarried. It is not because they are bad or ugly. I don't know about you. But when I see them like that in that situation, I feel bad. I feel very bad. And so I think we have to do something about the marriage requirements to ease marriage for them. <laughs> that is a wonderful idea, Onyez. As a matter of fact, whatever plans you have to achieve this, you have my support. What kind of language is that? You should have allowed the king to state his plan clearly before giving your support. His message is very, very clear already. Yes. So whatever plans the king has for us to achieve this, so long as we have our daughters get married early enough, it is good. Impossible. This is impossible. We are talking tradition here. Not in any other place but in Anienu. Somebody cannot just wake up and change tradition. It's not possible. I wish you know that. Yes, it is not possible. It can happen in any other place. Not in this kingdom. Huh? Yeah, uh, elders of the land, I think uh, we have to go home. We shall come back on another meeting to deliberate on this, on the, our next meeting after Uncle. Elders, I should have known that. No wonder my late brother's daughter, my niece Adobe, asked me that celebration the other day. Listen, Elders, I don't know where this is coming from. But we are going to fight this with everything we have got. I know the importance of this. And that is why I called us for us to meet immediately and take a stand. Mm. You said something about fighting it. 
Yes. What exactly are you talking about? I mean, how are we going to fight it? I need an answer to those questions. And I don't think fighting has two meanings. You fight against what you don't like in order to put an end to it. Yes. Simple. Very simple. Nietzsche, let me ask this question. What exactly did the king say he wishes to change? What? Change is change. I don't know how, how, how else I'm going to explain this. Listen to me. There is perfect structure that we have in place in this kingdom yes. as they concern almost everything. Mm -hmm. All these structures are perfect the way they are. We don't want any change. Speak for yourself, you Gobuzwe. If this change is going to make our daughters to start getting married at the appropriate time, which of course is what it promises to do, then I personally, I am certainly in support. Obuefi. Obuefi. Yes. You have to me. know the kind of things you support. You can't support such a thing. By the gods, you are a titled man of this land. Of course. And there is no way you will be in support of change of a tradition we inherited from our ancestors. That is a strap against the gods. Mm. And there is no way you can support that. So, open your eyes. Mm. And wide. Well, yes, open it wide. Wide. It is going to be hard, Father. I perceive that too. But it will be made possible to be done. I don't know why I did not think about this before all this while. No, Father, you don't need to bother yourself. You, you have other burden issues on your head already. Yes, I know. I know that marriage is one of the most important institutions, if not the most important. I don't know why somebody did not think about this before now. Well, no time is too late. But I don't know why I keep having these uncomfortable feelings about this. Father, is it going to work? Every good cause is worth fighting for. We will make it work out. I will do everything to make it work out. I must do everything to make my people happy. Even if it means the last good thing I will do. Nothing has happened yet. He just threw it to members of the council. That means something will happen. This is good news and I need to go and tell her. Uh, Adobe is about to make a costly mistake. She intends moving in with Lutana who wants to marry her. She needs to hear about this new development. No, no, sister. We can't tell anyone about this yet. Why? Nothing has happened as far as I am concerned. Why? Princess! Princess! What? That the king has agreed to reduce the cost price of the marriage. This wasn't supposed to be out. It is. And it's on everyone's lips. Although it is received with mixed feelings. What do you mean? What are you saying? Some are asking why. And some are saying that the king is trying to stop it because it is obviously stopping the princess from getting a suitor. This is ridiculous. And some are equally saying that the king himself has no right to change anything. What is wrong with our people? What is wrong with our people? Why would anybody oppose to this change? This is supposed to be a good change, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Yes. yes. I am not interested in what the people are saying. I am interested in what you are saying because this is for you. I went to my father lamenting. I told him that the maidens of this land are not happy because they're languishing in their father's hearts. 
This is for you and I, and not just me. Yes. You see? Have you all seen it? If anyone is against this, then that person is our enemy. Yes! yes. If you're the princess, have gone to the king to approach him on our behalf, then we shall be grateful to you. Yes. And give the king our maximum support. Yes! Are we ready? Yes! yes. We are ready. Yes. Your Majesty, do you understand where I am coming from? Where I'm coming from, you can tell me. You can tell me, Gobuzo. Tradition. Onyeze. The tradition of a people cannot be changed overnight. Can't you see that what you are planning could be very disastrous? Can't you see? The gods of our land love us. They love us so much. This move is a move that could bring change, positive change to our people that believe they cannot be against us. And they cannot be against it. But can't you see that this issue is deeper than you think? And that we should tread carefully. Carefully? Yes. Carefully I tread. Trust me. So, you are confirming to me you are going to carry on with your plan? This plan could have been carried out by me. Yes. But I still need the elders in council. I'm expecting them to be reasonable enough to understand my point of view. Ezra Jofo. You called to seek for my support yes. in this your quest. And I'm telling you here and now that you don't have mine. What? Yes. I cannot be part of this abomination. This is an insult. Not to me, but to the ancestors of this land. It is a neglect of the cultural relevance of this kingdom and there is no way a man like me could be part of that process this is just the truth and nothing but the truth you see major the aim is very simple the cabinet members must make the king understand we are against the plan that is the aim why don't we wait for him to call out back for a meeting? Were you listening to me at all? No, how can you say that? Do you understand the issue that is at stake here? But have I said or done anything wrong? What you are saying now is not in order. You know, how can you wait for the king to call you for a meeting? How can you? I want you to go to him and tell him that you is here with Major Kwe. You are against the plan that he has in place. If you do that, he will not call the meeting in the first place because he has his answer already. I did already. And I want you and the wealthy Udo Dinobu to go to him and tell him what I just said. Listen, Ishio Majakwe, we have a duty to protect the cultural relevance of this kingdom. Please. Father. You and I know that this is a good move. The intentions might be good, but the consequences. Consequences? The only consequence I see here is happiness, joy, and peace. Is that a bad one? Chine. Papa. The system of marriage has been there for ages. Uh -huh. But that does not make it right. You have always made me believe that you are not happy with the system of the marriage. So, I was only hoping that you are going to give the king your maximum support. Obuefi, yes, you have to me. know the kind of things you support. You can't support such a thing by the gods. You are a titled man of this land, of course. And then there is no way you will say you are going to support the change of a tradition that we inherited from our ancestors. Yes. 
that is a strap against the gods and you cannot support that. Open your eyes. Are we still in Anienugu? Or have we relocated to somewhere else? Crazy guy is in all the mother marines in one more. Hey! Father, what are you talking about? Why are you speaking in riddles? You are confusing me. We'll never believe that this opportunity will ever come, so we should not destroy it. I have to be somewhere now. Is he not happy? Why are they not happy? He's supposed to be happy with the king. What is going on? Where feel Udo Dinobu? On your side. I can beat my chest and say that I am a good king. I've been so transparent and straightforward. I've been leading my people so well all this while. Yes, Onyeze, that is very true. In fact, there is no man born of any woman that can dispute that. Hmm. But. I have actually failed the people greatly. Huh? Yes. For 15 good years, I've had the opportunity and the power to change things for better for our children. But I did not do it. Look at our children, especially our daughters. Be having heartbreak and rejection. Shame. It's here. Shame on us. Shame on us. Uh, uh, uh. Onyeze. The man that makes the coffin is not responsible for death. It is not your fault that our daughters have not been able to attract wealthy men as suitors. It's not your fault. But. It is my fault, it is my fault that they have not married the men that they so dearly love and wish to be with. Yes. Each year, I will stop at nothing to make this change. Yes, uh, uh, are you saying you can achieve that without the support of the elders in council? How possible is it going to be? You are mad at your king for bringing forth a change that will affect your personal interest. And I ask, what if the gods are in support of what the man is doing? I don't know why you are asking that question because you know the answer yourself. There is no way the God will be in support of what the man is doing. They are not and they cannot be. The gods have their ways. And most times, they are different from the ways of man. Uh, not in this case, Abroka. For the gods are vehemently against what the king is planning. What do you want? Very simple. I want you to create a scenario whereby all the gods in this land shall rise against what the king is planning to do. And if they do not? Then I will trust you to tell me how much I will pay you so that you can create that scenario. I want the gods of this land to rise so that the people can see that the gods are against the king. How much do you want me to pay? And consider it paid. Iche! Ugobuzo! Will you ever change? I hate change. Mainly the change that is going to affect my personal interest like you said. <laughs> I want you to tell me how much I will pay you so that you can get busy 
Listen, I am a man in authority and I want to die as a man sitting in authority. Ohamadiki <laughs> 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 has already established that it is not against the will of the gods and the ancestors. So why would the elders kick against it? So, I don't care. I don't care. It does not matter. Father, you need their support. So it matters. Son, are you insane? I need the support of the gods, not of men. And that of the gods, I have it already. This is supposed to be peaceful. It should. And it is. Yes. You have been a good son. A very good son. And you've been so supportive too. You have a large heart. Whenever I look at you, I feel relaxed. Knowing what my kingdom will become when I am gone. If I can think of anything, it is about doing everything possible to carry you along. Son, I keep nothing concerning this throne or the entire kingdom from you. I appreciate it, Father. Son, be brave like your father. Especially when it comes to doing anything that would be of great benefit to this land. Whenever you make a move that will bring any positive change, do not be scared or discouraged by anyone. Remember that the gods are giving your protection and support to the just. Three of us must speak in one voice. I mean, three of us. But that is if the king has not changed his mind. The king has not changed his mind. When I visited him, he didn't change his mind. Did he change his mind when you visited him? No, but... Uh, but no, but... You have already answered the question. He has not changed his mind. Now, you see, Omejekwe, did he change his mind when you visited him? I visited him. Yes, when you visited him to tell him that he doesn't have your support, did he change his mind? I, but I told you that I, I will tell him that when he calls us for a meeting. I am very disappointed in you. You have been a coward again, and that's very unfortunate. It's an insult to my revived position in this land, and you know it. And you have an opportunity come tomorrow to redeem that your so called revered position in this land. That is if you can key into what you are doing and talk some sense into the king tomorrow. Do you understand the issue that is at stake here? Do you? Hmm. This is a good change. And I never heard or seen a good people rejecting a good change. And we are still good people, are we not? We are. Uh, before you start to shake your head, please, I want to make a, an observation. A change that is intended to make a mockery of our ancestors, to me, is not a good one. As long as I am on the throne of our ancestors, I will be doomed if I mock them. And that is exactly what is going to happen to your majesty if you proceed with this new decree of yours. Onyeze, not only you, but all of us shall be doomed. Onyeze, like I said earlier, it will be better for us to live hard and be saved than to live soft and be destroyed. The truth is that our daughters will be fine. They will and the girls will get them good husbands before they pass the uh, childbearing ages. <laughs> uh, well, we hope so. I want to understand something. What are we afraid of? 
What? Are we afraid of losing, enriching ourselves with the gift from the suitors of our, of our daughters? Or setting, or setting up the ancestors? What? Your Majesty, please. We are not afraid of losing what the suitors will bring. What are they even bringing that, that we don't have? We can always survive without the things they're bringing. Life is one and life goes on. But I want to ask her, can we survive the anger of the gods that will be unleashed against us with no, this new decree no that way. we are bringing? Can we? No way. We can't. All right. We are good. We are good. Ahmadike confidently told me that the gods are in support. That they have no hand in how we give out our daughters in marriage. Wait. Oh, yes. You mean you consulted Ahmadike? But Wefi, no. you think I am doing all the things without making proper inquiries? It's not possible. No, Hamadike was consulted and he told me that the gods of our land have no hands in giving out our daughters in marriage. That we can go ahead and do what we want to do. So. Why am I stupid? Why did I not see this coming? I should have known that he is too wise not to seek the thoughts of the gods on this. He went to Hamadike. This is not going the way I planned. Yes! And because of this, because the gods are on my side, and because of your support to me, I make a decree today. That the marriage requirements here in Anenugu Kingdom is nothing more than the bright price of Nuego. Yes. Did you say Nuego? I said Nuego. Yes. And as the head of the clans, I urge you to circulate this information. Pass this message to everyone so as to make our young ones happy and joyful. <laughs> Listen, Edas, nobody must make this announcement from the king. Nobody. And why do you say so? Because it is nothing. No, how can we? Nuego, what nonsense. Now we can as well give out our daughters out in marriage free of charge to anybody that happens along. Of course. Uh, you did not protest before the king when he made that decree. And you? Did you? Of course there was no, uh, uh, no reason for that. Did you even speak at all before the king? Did you speak at all? Yes, I did. Yes. What did you say? You had me spoke. Yes. Uh, saying that the gods of this land will provide suitors for our daughters before they pass marriage or childbearing age. Is that what you call speaking before the king? I, I, but at least my mouth opened. Yeah, your mouth opened, opened don't talk nonsense. So don't open it wide again. Listen to me. Three of us are the people heading the three clans that represent our Nenugu. Okay. Whatever information we sit on has died in natural death. And this one that the king just released today as his decree, I want us to sit on it. Nobody should circulate this information to anybody in this kingdom because what the king is planning is an abomination. Chiogobuzo, why do you want us to do that? do that? Because I said it already, it is an abomination. Can you listen to me? If the gods are in support of this, why are you kicking against it? Because it's an abomination. Listen again. 
our daughters deserve to be happy. And I, a wife, you do the no good. I am never, and will never be a party to stop that. In Kenemen, away from the Nobu, even now we walk out of Nobu. What am I doing? I'm going to say again now. Thank you, Father. You don't know what you have just done. All the maidens of this kingdom will die of joy when they hear this. But why do we keep talking about the maidens? What about the men? <laughs> Most of them are yet to get married because of the same reason. The men have an option. They can decide to go to other kingdoms to pick wives. That is what they've been doing. We, the women, we don't have any option. We're stuck. Not anymore. I think I owe the youths an apology. I should have done this all this while. Don't worry yourself, my father. There is time for everything, so the saying goes. This time is the best time. No other time. I hope it will bring joy back to the people. It sure will. Trust me. You have to excuse me for now. I have to be somewhere. Nueko. That's nice. Father, you never told me about it. I have to bring it to the minimum. So that no man here in this kingdom will have an excuse. Every serious worker can make nothing less than Nuego in two days. So with my new rule of marriage, any man who decides to marry can save such amount, even more than Nuego, in at least one week time. be part of the people that won't be excited. Excited about what exactly? Does it mean Ichie Ugobuzo did not spread the news in your village? The news is everywhere already. Listen, Adaku. You met me here doing something. Preparing food for my father. So if you cannot just tell me the reason for your excitement, I will leave you and go back to what I was doing. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you. The king made a new decree yesterday. What new decree? Chiwendu, hmm? I actually came to call you because you are my friend. The youths are already at the square singing praises of the king. Singing praise of the king? Yes. For what? <laughs> and what's this piece of information you are shielding as if your life depends on? My life depends on it. The king made a decree yesterday that the only money any suitor will pay to marry any maiden from this kingdom is Nuego. Are you serious? Or oh, Ada? Are you trying to pull my legs as usual? Chiwendo, I am telling you the truth. I'm not lying to you. The news is everywhere in this kingdom. And the youths are already there. Everyone is happy. Are you coming with me or not? Definitely! Okay. Help me with your cooking. So you can round up fast. Mm -hmm. In as much as I expect men to pay big for women. <laughs> because it attracts respect. I should be happy with everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to I was just coming to see you. Azubike, can you tell me what is going on? I don't know. I was coming to ask you that. Onyense, two days ago, you had a meeting with the king. Mm -hmm. And you returned to tell me that no decision was made. Of course. And today, all the use of Aninbu are all over the place. Praising the king for reducing bribe price to Nuego. That is nonsense. Absolute nonsense and you know it yourself. What do we do? What? Listen to me. Madness is the only definition you can give to what is happening in our kingdom right now. Yes, I recall that the king made a declaration that the total amount of money a man has to pay 
to marry a woman of our Enugu is only in yes. But that is absolute nonsense. <laughs> it cannot pass because it, it has no approval of many council. Why are you discussing it? Onion said cannot be Even when the decree of the king is already being applauded by everybody. It cannot be. Let me, let me ask you. How did it even get out? Because I remember I warned the Bwefi Udo the Nogu and the Shia Umejakwe mm. not to breathe a word of it to anybody. Mm. How did it get out? I might have told them that. But it is clear to you now that the information is out. And visibly the information is acceptable to the, all the people. What do we do, Onyeze? You see, the only thing we have to do is to stop this. And to stop this, I must. Listen to me, Eda Sekansu. Mm -hmm. There is no way we are going to allow this nonsense. We cannot. Yes, we cannot. But what can we do? I don't understand. The king might be on the throne, but he is not the owner of this land. Bam! This land belongs to all of us. And there is no way the king can take that kind of decision without the approval of men in council. Exactly. The decision makers of this kingdom. He cannot. Mm. I thought he consulted the decision makers. I believe so too. Because of what you told me. You told him what? Yes, I told him what you know. I gave my support to the king because I have no reason not to do so. Ah. You have no reason not to do so? Yes. So mocking our ancestors is not enough reason to you? Ask him. Our king consulted our Hamadike before he took the decision. So, why are we fighting this? Why? Oh, who is the Hamadike? Mm. I'm asking you, Oye Bobanya. Mm. Who is the Hamadike? Yes, the Hamadike was a great one of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Who faded away over the years? Since he. And anybody that goes to Hamadike to be to consult him for anything is actually seeking to be destroyed. Wow. Why are you making reference to Hamadike here? Uh, why? I have never heard of that. I have not. Okay. What's wrong with you? Okay. Okay. No, how could you say that? Okay, let me tell us. Do you think that our ancestors, our forefathers, mm. that place high demand on any shooter that comes to marry any maiden of this our land? Mm -hmm. Are they mm. Do you people think they don't have a reason why they did that? Of course they did. They did they did it, yeah. yeah. Shut up your mouth, as I will not. As we can shut up your mouth. I will not shut up my mouth. Uh, an ordinary chair, I am on the way. Listen, 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 listen. I will not wait. Why are you not using your head? No, no, you should be the one that will answer that question. Tell him. Why are you not using your head? Tell him. Why? Ugobuza. Hey! Hold it there. Please, I don't want to waste so much time discussing this. Because it is very clear the king is determined to destroy it. Bam! The use of this land have already feed into that process and we are not going to allow them because we are the people that are saddled with the responsibility of guiding the youth. PM, we are going to fight the king and we are going to fight the king to a standstill. Uh -huh. Who is with me on this? Madam. Who is with me on this? Uh -huh. Let me see your hands. Deje, Made. Mm. Thank you very much. I have a message for all of you. What nonsense message? An adult that knows his stand does not play with his hand. I know where I belong. Where? And certainly not here. Mm. And uh, is she is she no, no, no. let me also have this message tell you that I have this message for you. You pray yourself as a wave, you kill a sick cow! You kill a wave. Exactly! Look at this animal! Who will? Let him go! Let him go! Animal, no common sense! He went into this business of digging up stones from the ground for sale. The truth remains that you are still one of the best bricklayers we have in Anenubu. Do not flatter me. I don't flatter you. But the truth of the matter is that you are good at your work of his Aja. Aja Jalona. Yes, I can barely feed myself. But you that you are poor. 
it does not mean that you are not good at what you do. In fact, eh, that is why I called you here today. To tell me that I'm good at my work. Hmm? Yes. Yes. But more importantly, to expose you on a way you can actually, you know, reconcile both ends. Hey, let me ask you, Bushi, do you think there is a problem in someone who is very good at his work to actually make money from that some work? Of course, I would like to, but you know, a lot of men are into this business of digging stone and putting them for sale these days. And that reduces, reduces my chances of... I know, I know. <laughs> that is why I called you. <laughs> Listen to me. I am going to expose you to something that will expose you to money. Yeah. By the time we finish this meeting here today, you will forever be happy for coming here today to answer this call. Are you mocking me? Why should I? <laughs> what was that for? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. You know I will never mock you. you know, I will never mock anyone, let alone my beautiful sister. So what is your problem? Well, you keep talking about how your friends are getting married early. And I kept wondering if... Uh, Don't wonder anymore. Stop worrying. Your worries will soon be over. Really? What's his name? No name yet. But it will certainly happen someday. And by the gods, I pray soon. Because me too, I am thirsty for my own drink. Oh, then make it happen fast. Anyway, rumors have been flying around that you have something to do with Oyinye. What? What rumors? Huh. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> I know Oyinye, mm. right? But there are no commitments yet. So please. Do not give me that look. Bushi, this will put some money into your pocket. You have nothing to lose. Aha! <laughs> I knew it! Yeah? I was waiting for you at the Panwine Bar. As if I knew that you were wasting away here. I decided to come. Yeah? Just up. Let's go now. Let's go and waste our, uh, uh, some time there. I am not the mood for drinking. <laughs> I know you have no money. I will pay for your drinks. Oh? <laughs> ah. Butch, let me just ask you bluntly. Apart from that, your pocket is empty. Is there any other problem? Oh, eh? You see, I feel uncomfortable when you look at me like that. Eh? It depicts a hungry man that wants to swallow anything to fill up his empty stomach. I need your advice. Hmm. And I want to see Ichi Uruzo. Was it so bad that you have to wear this kind of look? Bushi, yes, I am going to pay you good money. Money that will assist you solve a lot of problems in your life. But what you need to do for me is very simple. Just go to the palace and ask the princess to be your wife. Seek for her hand in marriage. Of course, she's going to reject the offer. Even the king might throw you out of the palace. But 
we must have achieved two things. First of all, you have money to take care of yourself for a very long time. And then, we must have succeeded in telling the king that his nonsense advice that people should pay Nuego for bride price is, is nonsense. Is that too much for a young man like you to do? Ninze, there are many young men of this land you could have met for this. Why come to me? I came to you because in you I see a progressive young man who can rise above all odds in defense of this land. I see you as that young man of this land who is working so hard to protect the cultural values of this land. And I know you can key into this process for us to teach Ezra Kajiofo that he is not the owner of this kingdom. To teach him a lesson that he will never forget in a very long time. This offer has made me restless. I've been thinking about it since. Ah. Oh. I am beginning to regret why I slapped Okunka the day he called you a fool. Why would you say that? It's because your action is confirming to me that Okunka was right after all. What? Yes! It is only a fool that will think about this offer twice. Of course, you jump at it because I know you do anything for money. Yes, uh, I like money. I like money. But with all the money in the world, in fact, with all the money in the palace of Anenugu, I will never do such. I'm telling you, Ichi Ugobuzu and other men are bent on, you know. Frustrating the king. Eh? And we're here considering the offer. I am sad to hear that. Do you know what it means for someone like you to ask for the princess's hand in marriage? Yeah? She will never say yes to me. And she'll be the one to live with the shame. And Ichie Ugobuzu and Ko will succeed in dragging the king down. Eh? Saying that uh, 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 that he, he he refused to 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 implement his own laws because his daughter is involved. Huh? So you think I should not do that? No, no, no. I think you should avoid this man completely. Avoid him completely. I when I, I I told you that this court will change your life. Well, I didn't mean it this way. Uh, 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 I need to clear this new sense off your head. Just go in there, dress up, let's go and drink. I will take care of the bills. Oh? Go, 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 dress. No sense. And I was worried that everybody has gone cold about, about this. Everyone, not me. Certainly not me. Njideka, my daughter, is at the verge of being married to a man from North Africa. You don't say. I've tried to discourage her, but I'm losing it. Her mother is on her side. Umejeko, no. We cannot lose two. One is enough. Do whatever that is within your power to delay the process until I bring the king down finally. And this man that you're planning to use, do you trust him? Absolutely. He has few friends. He is poor. He doesn't talk much. In fact, he is perfect for the game I have in hand. What is the, uh, the cause of the blood? I am giving him all the time. Because I don't want it to appear as if I am rushing him into anything. But you know that we don't have all the time. I am losing my daughter. Listen. Can you give me all the information you have about this young man from North that is coming to marry your daughter? He's from a Wando family from Norfolk. 
and uh, I've won, sir. What are you talking about? Ngide, calm down. You have to calm down, listen. Calm down. I should calm down? You are calling it quit with me and you want me to calm down? I am not calling it quit with you. We need to slow down the pace. Now that's it. You are not serious. Yes, because first you said our marriage requirements were too much. And now that you can afford it 10 times over, you still find excuses? Njideka, it is complicated. Your people are in disagreement with your new marriage requirements. You should hear how ridiculous it sounds right now. It is all over the place. In my own kingdom, yes! You don't expect me to pretend that I didn't hear that. No! Says who? Take I'm lying. Now let me tell you the truth. Some men come to see my father. Men from your kingdom. They warned him never to come to an enemy again. Let alone your father's father. Do you imagine that? What? Why? Why would they do that? That brings us back to the issue at hand. Your people are in disagreement with your, your king's new marriage terms. That is not true. Listen to me. My friend Adobe got married under the same term and our people came out to support her. Do you understand? Don't listen to them, Biko. Don't. Don't listen to them. I beg you, please. Get, don't. get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. See, it's not that I don't love you, no. But this is not as simple as you think. Try and understand. Peace. <laughs> All the food as usual. Okay? I see the pot was clean with food the one when you left. How can you be this heartless? You know how hard my work is. Yet you couldn't keep even one slice of yam for me. Even one. Every time. You know how hard my job is. You know how hard my work is. Yet you have nothing to show for it. Did you just talk to me? I am hungry. That was what I said. I've had just two slices of yam since morning. Allow me to enjoy my palm canal. Can you? Why is our life like this? Eh? Why is our life this difficult? Why? See, that we don't have enough to eat does not mean our lives are bad. But are we talking about enough? Eh? Do you even have anything? Okay, tell me, when was the last time we made a good pot of soup in this house? When? But we are still alive. And once we are still alive, there is hope. Hmm? So stop whining and take take this one and break color and, uh, pumpkin oil and eat. But I call this thing life. Eh? Eating from hand to mouth. Eh? But 
was just like our parents I, I, and, and go. I don't know why the, the gods kept us alive to go through life like this. Look at you. Eh? Every day you walk, you have nothing to show for it. Then me, I go to other people's farm to farm. At the end of the day, they tell me plenty of stories. Eh? But then me, I'm tired. Though. I just want to die. I'm tired. Um, Chisol, before you die, remember I'm still saving money to buy the cow required for our father's last burial. Hmm? What kind of life is this? Eh? All my life I've been suffering. Can I not have just one day of joy and happiness in this house? Can I not have one, just one day? Eh? Tell me, what will make your day happy day? Tell me now, what will make your day a happy day? Why, father? Why do this to me? Why? I will know what you are talking about if you tell me. What did I do? You sent men to my suitor. Why? I ask again. Why are you doing this to me? Which men? Oh, father, do not even try to deny this. Don't even try to pretend about your father. I know you. I know what you're capable of doing. You sent men to them, warning them to keep away from here. Let me ask you, do you really prefer material gain to your own daughter's happiness? Look, Angelica, I am lost because I did not do such a thing. It never even crossed my mind. Yes, I asked you to hold on on the marriage. That was it. I never thought of sending anyone to him. Neither did I send anyone. Look, my daughter, I am an Indian. I cannot do If not, I would have sworn to prove to you that I can never do a thing like that. Why should I? of money. The money can feed my sister and I for a long time. Why am I not taking this offer? So, you think I should not do that? No, no, no. I think you should avoid this man completely. Avoid him completely. Yes. I, 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 I told you that this call could change your life. But I, I don't mean it this way. Yeah? The king cares less. He is king. And no one can bring him down. How will my proposal to the princess do him any harm. What should I do? From an angle, this is an opportunity. And from another angle, it looks like a trap. What kind of life is this? Eh? All my life I've been suffering. Can I not have just one day of joy and happiness in this house? Can I not have one, just one day? Eh? Bushi, I assured you of your safety. Nobody must know I was the one that sent you to do this. But the princess is a lovely woman and anybody, anybody can go for her. I want my full payment before I go. No. You will get half before and then the remaining half. After. This has to be my way. You cannot trick a man like me in this land. You know that, or don't you? Thank the gods to say this yourself. I cannot take your money without doing your job. You 
a strong man yourself. So, you have many ways to shut me up if I fail to do the job. So, I want my full payment or you look for another person to do the job for you. All these men are so useless. Do not generalize yet. But it's true. They are all the same. They were using the requirements as a cover. Now the requirement is out of the way. They are devising another means. Aren't we speaking of the same man? <laughs> he is a total definition of what the other men can do. Ujideka, have you seen him? after you spoke to your father. I don't want to see him. What if he's telling the truth? Oh, I'm not calling your father a liar. But there could be some misunderstanding. That man that called himself my suitor was playing me the whole time. I was just too blind not to have noticed. Are you giving up? Is there a reason why I should force myself on him? No, tell me. Because I see none. Another will come. Oh. What matters to me now is marriage is affordable in Anenu. Just when I thought another one was leaving. Welcome back, my bear. To the group of hopeless and Helpless mothers of this land. Speaking of which, has anyone heard from Adobe? I don't feel like taking it. I do not. I don't feel. Obi, what is the problem? This is not what we hoped for. You've been going on like this ever since I stepped foot into this home as your wife. There you go again. There you go again. I've told you time without number that you sound selfish every time you talk. You talk always about yourself. Just yourself. Yourself. Is this marriage a death sentence? Is it? Have I not been doing right? Why this... Why this coldness towards me? Chisolo. Chisolo. Ah. Even a pregnant woman does not sleep this way. It's, it's not better I sleep all through the day than, than stay awake and fight hunger. Take it and cook real soup for us to eat. Hmm? Cook real soup for us to eat. Mm -hmm. For us 
Yes. You said you've not eaten real soup since. So, I don't want you to say that again. I don't want to hear it again. Buchi, mm -hmm. are you finally spending the money? You said you're saving for Papa's final funeral. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll manage. Mm -hmm. Um, Chisolo, if you want, cook the soup and finish it before I return from work. Buchi? Mm -hmm. Buchi? Buchi, I'm your only sister. Are you not going to tell me where you got this money from? Look, if it's from that money you're saving, do not worry, we can always manage. Eh? Because I want Papa's final funeral to be performed. Chisolo, your prayers have been answered. That's all I can tell you. But be rest assured, when the time comes, the car will be bought. And the Papa's last burial will be performed. Ugobuzo, tell me, why won't I be bothered? My daughter accused me of going to discourage her suitor. And you think I should be happy? Listen to me, you major boy. I am not asking you to be happy that your daughter accused you. But at least you should be happy that your daughter is no longer going to be carted away into one useless marriage. You should be happy. Ugobuzo, you asked me the family the suitor is from. Mm -hmm. And I told you, yes. did you by any means pay him a a visit? He amused me. You know, why should I do that? You see my daughter that is getting married? I don't understand. What's my business? Why do I have this feeling that there is something you know that you are not willing to tell me? If you imagine, well, please do me a favor. Investigate what happened. Because I know you can investigate. And if by any means my name is mentioned as being connected in any way with what happened you come back and deal with me who then could have done that because the, i mean there is only one group that is against the new marriage terms there is only one group. what was it i don't I, let me understand what your argument is please can we stop this nonsense can we discuss something that is beneficial i mean something that can give us joy like the princess will be receiving marriage proposal today at the palace. <laughs> that simply means the fight is ended somehow. <laughs> that should make us happy. Not discussing one useless marriage that got aborted. Rightfully. Yeah. Oh, they <laughs> I have to do this. Do you have another option? You already spent part of the money that Ichi Ugobuzo gave to you. But I can pay Ichi back his money. Pay back from where? From the money you've been saving to give your late father his final passage into the clan of the ancestors. Come on, Buchi. Don't be a fool. I just cannot do this. No, you can. This is what you must do. And you must start moving immediately. Go now. Don't make a fool of yourself. This will be done in no time at all. Keep moving, Buchi. Move it. Who, do you, who did you tell me your father is? Let's okay, came by Malu. Of our village. Let okay camp Amaro for Kamosli village. Never heard such a name before. Well, he was not popular. He was poor and died a poor man. I'm still saving money to buy the mandatory cow for his final funeral. And you? 
What do you do for a living? My king, I, I mowed sand. But since people started coming into our land to buy stones, I'm now one of the young men that dig up stones. How do you think uh, that a princess will agree to marry you? My king, I don't understand the question. I don't mean to insult you, my dear, or something like that. But I'm curious. But knowing why you come to seek for my daughter's hand in marriage. My king, um, I'm almost a nobody. And my father was a failure too. But I am strong. I work very hard. And I hope for a better future. I, I am a noble man. I've never stolen from anyone. And I know that the princess is noble too and deserves a noble man. Wealth and affluence do not make one noble. Nobility is in the character. So are you saying it went well? Ichi, I don't know. All I know is that I did like you asked me to do. And And what? What was the king's response? That he will speak to the princess and get back to me. And let me add that I did a good presentation of myself to the king. Good. And by that I hope you know your job is not done yet. No, my job is done. What are you talking about? Are you okay? Are you normal? If they said go that they will get back to you. It simply means you can be called up at any time. Okay? When the princess gives her response, that is when your job is done. Excuse me. This was not the plan. This is not what you paid me for. You said, appear before the king and ask for the princess's hand in marriage. And, and hey, I... hey, stop. Add nothing. Does it mean this thing they're saying is true? That poverty will make people to become very stupid? Have you lost your common sense because of poverty? What's this? You have gone to the palace and they have told you that they will get back to you. Common sense is supposed to tell you that they can, they can call you back, back at any time. Don't provoke me, please. Um, Ichi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I provoked you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, you may leave now. But let me quickly warn you. Nobody must know that I am part of this. What? See, you're just bringing up this now. And now you know it. Listen to me, Bushi. You are on your own in this. Nobody must hear a word of this. Nobody. How much will we eventually pay to do that? Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, you don't know what I'm talking about? Follow me to my heart to piss me off. Stop this. Uh, 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 stop telling lies. Would you stop lying? You see that you saw me coming out from Ichi Ogobuzo's compound does not prove anything. Let me tell you. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, you want me to tell you the truth? Uh, okay, now hear it. I followed you when you left work. Yes! 
When you go to the palace, wow, you stopped and think for a while before you finally moved in. Eh? The moment you came out of the palace, come, you went straight to Ichiro Gobuzo's compound to give him a feedback. You're not making sense at all. Eh? You're talking rubbish. Oh, eh? why? Eh? Do you realize what you have done? Eh, Buti? I want you. Why did you do it? See, Udoka, do you know what it means to come home and meet empty pots? Do you know what it means to see your only sister crying, not for anything, but for hunger? Do you know what it means? No, Udoka, do you know what it means? Then, Uchi, how much did he give to you? Eh? For how long will he continue to put food on your table? Do you realize the consequences of what you have done? See, I don't care at all. I don't just care. My concern now is just keep this to yourself. Yes, if you really care about me. And nobody should hear that or know that Ichigo Buzu sent me. Please. Look at please. What nonsense! Who gave him the gods? This is an insult. Am I not love? Don't you tell me that every day. Your point? My point being that every man desires to marry a lovely woman. This is not funny! You have prayed. And the gods have answered. No, sister. Someone else can make a joke out of this, but not you. That boy has insulted the throne. From my father's description, he's a man, not a boy. Oh, Only what? men get married. Oh, whatever. He knows that he's not man enough to do what he did. At least he can afford the Inuego bride price. Is that not what matters? Father, I don't care if he's a trap. That man insulted the royal family. And by the way, what makes you think he's even a trap? I made the law that all that is required for marriage in Anenugu is in Nuego. And then a man who digs the stone from the ground and sells to the merchants from Oranich and the Nemo. Or Mpo comes to seek for my daughter's hand in marriage. Father, you have done the right thing. And nobody, I repeat, nobody can use it against you. Marriage is still a thing of choice. Besides, I'm not sure she will oblige his request. She did not say a lot when I told her. All she was concerned about was what the man said. I told her the truth. That the man sounds intelligent. And that appears a noble man too. Oh, father. Father, do not let them lure you into this. You are not the one getting married. My sister, the princess is. I spoke with her. She didn't say yes. What is her reason? That the man is poor? Oh, Father, are you considering giving her to him then? Like you said, the choice is hers to make. What reason would she give other than that the man is poor? What? That young man has got. What makes him think? He can marry the princess of Anenugu. <laughs> eh? At least he can afford Nuego so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Edas. All I see here is an opportunity for us to prove to the people that our king 
is not exactly what he presents himself to the people. And is your as what he is actually. <laughs> <laughs> In what sense? Why are you asking? You should know yourself. You know our king, Ezakajiofo. There is no way he will ever release his daughter, his precious jewel, to just any man. Because the man can pay no ego bad price. But he wants other people to do just the same. <laughs> you know the man? And can somebody unmask what this means? <coughs> the dissolution of his new Nuego bride price. <laughs> <laughs> Always late at meeting. Uh, as you make, uh, did the news also get to your heart? Chair, the only news that got to my heart is the return of my niece. Obviously, she's having problem with her husband, and he sent her away. She was, she was the only woman you loved. She was the only woman you loved that you waited for all this while. Was that not what you told me? Father, yes. this issue is more complicated than you think. It is. It is shameful, Lieutenant. Just too shameful. You waited all these years for you to be with this woman. She comes now to be with you only for you to treat her like an animal and you sent her away. No, Father, no. That was not exactly what happened. No. I did it. Father. Yes. You know I lived with her. Yes. And I understand the situation better than you do. Mm -hmm. I could not take it anymore. Then I sent her packing. And what was that? You, could, you couldn't take anymore. Father. Yes. You know what? No. This is my life. And I have the right to live it the way I want. And I'm still your father. You still answer my name, and whatever you do rubs off on me. Don't forget that. The gods will bear me witness that I took care never to offend him. I know. Everyone knows that you will make a good wife, my friend. Huh? Really? Yes. So... So I will not be blamed for this? Of course not! Anyone that blames you does not know you! This man can never ever be trusted! They are worth nothing at all. Now this minute you think they want to give up their lives for you. And then the same minute they are the same ones trying to take away that life. Tell me, are they worth anything at all? I hate them! They are nothing but wicked! I don't like them! It's okay. It's okay. Don't you dare, Carl. I'm not over him already. Meso, how is that possible? No, tell me. How is that possible? He promised me forever. I was already beginning to dream forever with him. He is wicked! He is wicked! I hate him! I do! <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> what happened? Um, Ebolonyi Lewof Wafe broke up with her. No way! Why? It's going to be fine. Just Look, we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue living like all our lives depend on these men. Maybe that's why in my case, they don't even come at all. And in your cases, they come and then mess up with your lives. No. Mess up. Only this man. 
every normal woman needs a man in her life. We cannot lie about this. We need them. What if you try to reverse it? Let us allow them need us. Maybe, just maybe it will change something. What about the princess? Adobe, it is not the end of your life. You must understand that. I am consoled because I can beat my chest and say I did nothing wrong. Obviously marriage is not what we think it is. Most people spend their time anticipating it rather than making preparations for it, getting ready for it. How else do you prepare for it? How else? When you are there, you face it. Calm down. There's one mistake people make. Marriage is not what you just jump into. You have to get ready for it. You have to be prepared. Mind, body and soul. Look, if he is your soulmate, your true soulmate, you shall be reunited with him very soon. I still love him. I still love him, but I can't go back to him with the way he is right now. And talking of marriage, I heard of the man that came for you. At least someone has come to ask for my hand in marriage. Finally. Now I'm convinced I'm ready for the journey. Yes, Father. I have thought about it. And you arrive with the same answer? Yes. You don't know this man. Father, he's a legitimate son of Anienubu. You had him investigated and confirmed that his family is clean. So... Yes. yes. Daughter, that is not enough reason why you should be giving out in marriage to him. Don't you think? Father, I have prayed. I have prayed all these years for the gods to send a good man my way. And he has come along. I believe he's the answer to my prayers. He's a good man, I know. A hard-working young man. Who has been starving himself and his only younger sister. In order to save money to give his father a befitting final passage right. He told me he has never stolen anything from anyone. And from my investigations, yes, he's right. He has never stolen anything. But daughter, there are a lot of other things, important things attached to marriage. Father, I am very much aware of that. Let me worry about those ones. All I want now is your blessing and I will marry him. Tell me, what is troubling you? I'm your only sister. You know you can share with me. Please, tell me. Eh? Yeah, yes. Yes? What is the problem? Eh? Did you not say he asked you to call me? Of course he did. Buchi, okay, you can talk to Doka, right? Please, say something. Hey, excuse us. Eh? I ask you to excuse us. What are you still doing here? Ago, what is eating you up? 
I am doomed. Ah, I don't understand. Doka, your friend is doomed. I should have listened to you, but I did not. Yeah. Doka, I am finished. <laughs> explain, explain. Probably I will understand. Yeah? The princess said yes to my marriage proposal. Eh? Where I live. Who am I to marry the princess of Anenugu? Hey, Okay, um, what are you going to do now? What am I going to do? How can I? You know, I cannot marry her. Hey. You know that? I am finished. I would have, I would have just listened to you. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to do. Hey, but you did not. Eh? You chose money over your dignity. Eh? I had no option. I had no option. Hmm. Am I supposed to just, just, just be there and watching my only sister go hungry? Eh? I had no option. So I, I needed the money and I took it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, you, ha you had no option. You needed the money and then you took it. Eh? Now let me ask you, Duty. Are you still feeding with the money that Ichi gave to you? What nonsense? Bushi, what nonsense? There is no way the prisoners could have accepted you. It's not possible. Too bad she did. She did. But you cannot marry the princess. That is not in the plan. Have you forgotten the plan so fast? I know that, but what do I tell her then? I don't understand. Could this be what poverty has turned you into that you can no longer think? That your brain is so blocked, you can't think out anything? Should I be the one that is telling you what you are going to do now? Listen to me on your own. Figure out what you are going to say and turn them down. Do it fast. My supposedly blocked brain tells me that if I do that, then we'll be sold out. What do you mean by sold out? I don't understand. People will be convinced that I'm not the one that asked her to marry me on my own. Bushi, where is this coming from? Where? Gee, dear, people are already suspected. Suspecting what? Now, now, let me let, let me make it clear immediately. Bushi, there is no us in this. Okay? No us at all. And marrying the princess is something that you must have to find a way to expunge off from your useless brain. Now, I want you to go back to your low-class hall. Go back there. That's your poverty sticky hall. Go back there and figure out an excuse. In fact, figure out excuses. That you are going to give them to turn them down. You have to do it. If possible today. Now does this achieve your aim of setting all this up? It is no longer your business Bushi. This is no longer your business. Do what I said. Just go and do it. Leave the compound. Leave. Leave here. Leave the compound. Okay. So much. Look at this one. Dreamer. Dreaming of marrying the princess. An idiot that has nothing. What, what is this? But his father was here. He would have told you about my misbehavior if there was any. I don't blame them. I only blame the king. What has the king got to do with this? What has he not got to do with it, Adobe? What has he not got to do with it? How do you expect a man that buried a woman almost free of charge 
to trick the woman. This is not the reason. Leave the king out of this. Please. Adobe, let me tell you. Let if Lobanna had spent the fortune on you, he married you, he would have known the value on you and will not throw you away like a piece of trash. Huh. Nah, this is not what I expected you to say. What do you expect me to say? What do you expect me to say? Let me tell you. We have to return his money back to him. Yes, he's miserable in the ego. We have to return it. Is he asking for it? Does he have to? Adobe, does he have to? Let me tell you. We have to return that money fast. Clear away for another man that will come and marry you. Properly. Yes. We have to. Are you out of your mind? I have made my choice. It is my life. Princess, do you know what that name even means? Whatever it means, it doesn't make me any more human than anybody out there. He is human and that is what matters. And he is beneath your level. You cannot marry him. How many of those that are up to my level have come to ask for my hand in marriage since I attained marriageable age? How many? The right time will come. You just have to wait. I am not waiting any longer. I have made my choice. And please respect it. It doesn't seem like the best decision to me. Well, leave me to live with the consequences if anything happens. But until then, excuse me. I don't think if this is right, my princess. Why did you ask for my hand in marriage? Because I was paid to. No. I can't do this. Bucci. Uh, um, is something wrong? Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I asked a question. I said, why did you ask for my hand in marriage? Um, I have watched you over the years and I cannot think of someone else to share my life with even though there's nothing so special I know you didn't think I was going to say yes right nobody expected me to but I had prayed for so long to the gods for a husband and you came along so there's absolutely no way I will turn down the God's answer to my prayers. You make me want to cry. You, you think I am the answer to your prayers? Onyebuchi, I am convinced you are. And I know we will live happily too. She believes that I am the answer to her prayers. Can you imagine that? How did I get myself into this? You are going to be a great man someday. Do you know that, don't you? That is what we are praying for. Maybe she will be the answer to that prayer. What are you talking about? The princess. I am talking about the princess. What? How did you get to know that? Some meetings were talking about it at the stream the other day. How you proposed to the princess. But so bad you did not tell me your sister. Um, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. She has accepted to marry you. And you still did not tell me. Your sister. Chiso, it's not as simple as you think. I understand. I understand perfectly. You did not see it coming. You see, that's why the ways of the gods 
are different from the ways of men. But you have to try not to turn the princess down now that she has accepted to marry you. But I cannot marry her. She cannot live here. I, I, I cannot take care of her. And yet you went ahead to ask her to marry you. You won't understand. I am not telling you to make me to understand. But I will tell you something. Try so hard not to enter the bad book of the king by refusing to marry the princess now that she has accepted you. Think, my brother. Uh, we're not talking about just any king. We're talking about Eze Akajofo, the king of Anenugo. Use your head, my brother. Think. <laughs> I don't know what you expect of me. Udoka, I know everything. Huh? I know my brother was paid to propose to the princess. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yes. And I'm here thinking I was the only one he told about it. No, he did not tell me. He may never tell me. And I am not ready to ask him, at least not now. I overheard both of you talking about it. Uh, so, what do you want me to do? Udoka, he needs you. Huh? You need to encourage him. Encourage him to do what he should To marry the princess. Ah! Eh? He does not want to. You want me to force him? Uduka, that he does not want to does not mean that he does not desire to. He just fears that Ichi Ogobuzo will come after him. <coughs> he will. He will. Trust me. He will. Uduka, have you thought about what will happen to him if he fails to marry the princess now that she has accepted to marry him? <laughs> Who's the part to be more painful? Ogobuzo was all the kings. You are making you're making this thing look so complicated than it is already. I am yeah. only trying to protect my brother. I'm trying to keep him safe. You're the only friend he has around here and I'm sure you want him to be safe. Hey? Look at please. Let's help him. Hey? All he needs now is encouragement. See, you just need somebody to tell him he's on the right path. Not my princess. I will say so. I won't even accept that man. And that is why you are you and I am me. Princess, what has come over you? You're not desperate, are you? I am not desperate. So why destroy your future? So marrying him is that bad? Is that what you're trying to say? I bet you it is. He's a nobody that struggles to feed himself and his sister. <laughs> He cannot participate in the masculine procession of this kingdom because he has not buried his father properly. The sister of yours has not been feeding him. Excuse properly. me. Let me mess up. If your problem is that I'll starve to death, then don't worry, I'll be fine. Don't put words in my mouth. A, a man who cannot fend for himself and his sister should not be thinking of getting married. My good friend, don't worry. I won't die of hunger if that is what your problem is. Okay. It seems your mind is really made up. It obviously is. And you know what? I have my father's support and that is what matters. <laughs> you know what? I give up. If he is truly who you want to be with, then go ahead and be with him. But seriously, yes, please, Mesoma, no buts, okay? No buts. He is a noble man, and his sense of nobility will make way for him. I employed your services in this because I understand how close both of you are. Yes, my prince. Good, good. You have the duty to make her see the stupidity in what she has decided to do. My prince, I tried. And? I don't think anyone can stop her. Her mind is really made up. Uh, no, no, don't say that. Her mind can still be changed. That's when the king supports her. Who told you that? She did. Oh, he did not know about that.
well. Uh, thanks for trying. Trying. You're welcome, my prince. 